right. So in the spirit of other YouTube videos that I've seen of this kind of thing, I'm going to do the unboxing of my new ocarina that I purchased from Mexico. It's got all these cool um, stamps on it. It's got sharks and turtles. No, no, it's a different kind of shark. It's sharks. She sent me sharks. Sharks. Took about a month to get here from Mexico to South Florida. It's got uh, all sorts of very nice foamy packaging stuff. Really appreciate that. Boop, boop, boop. like a makeup bag. That's nice. Okay. It's in the bag. I'm so excited. Look, it's even got like a little thing here. Oh, I'm totally going to use this bag. This is so cute. Okay. Papers. Let's see what it says. Ocarina, Luna, Celta? Celta, Celta. Who knows? Beautiful Celta. Ocarinas. Yeah, it's in Spanish, so it's it's Celta, I guess. Beautiful Ocarinas of professional quality, elaborated with the fine art of the pottery. Excellent and artistic work. Music and art in your hands. We've got different models. The Gypsy Ocarina. The Ocarina of Zelda. This one is really cool. Catacombs. Life after death. If this one turned out to be a good sounding ocarina, I want to buy this one. I don't care how much it costs. And this one is the triple base. It's a little too, uh, too many holes for me. And of course this is the one that I bought. And just as promised, she sent me a bunch of these little pamphlets because I told her I was going to advertise for her. Okay. Looks like we've got a fingering chart. Oh, it's in Spanish. That's so cute. I'll translate if you need to. Oh no! I know what it says, even though I don't know what it says because it's got it's got pictures. <laughs> so it looks like a pretty standard chart. It's got um, the notes and all the usual fingering positions. That's really cute that it's in Spanish. Alright. Oh, it's just, it's nice. Okay. I'm gonna take it out. Ooh. Oh, it feels nice. Alright, so this is a nice, glossy. It's pretty from here. Oh. Oh, this is nice looking. Oh, this is nice looking. Alright. Boyfriend is coming over to take a peek. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely as advertised. This is this is a galaxy for sure. So this reminds me of Chris Gale's uh, Aria Ocarina. Okay. This, the holes are a little smaller than the one I'm using. Oh, that's a nice sound. I was worried that it would be um, of a low breath pressure, so it would be quiet, but it's not. Let's see how loud it can get. Yeah. This is nice. I feel like I'm 
So it's angling my hand in a different direction than I'm used to. I feel like possibly this could be more comfortable. And there's her little signature. That's adorable. I love it. It's so pretty. So this is the one that I've been using. This is from Imperial City Ocarinas. It's a Chinese maker. That's his little bowl logo. Um, they come unpainted and unglazed. I painted this one myself and then covered it with uh, polyurethane so that it wouldn't chip. This is his maker's mark right there. And this is Alto, and this is the pitch, which is C. So this one is way heavier. But what I really liked about this one was that it's got a little dent there for the sub hole. And it's really nice to just, you know, curl your finger over it. And this one has a little bit of a dent too, right there. It's very nice. Which is why I've used it. But the problem is that it's really heavy. And the sub holes are a little big for me, especially this pinky. So the reason why I bought this new ocarina was so that my pinky wouldn't jam because I have double jointed fingers and it just gets stuck like this. And it sucks. So this is definitely what I would recommend if you've got big fingers. But then also the placement of the pinky hole is just like totally whack. Like why would you put it out there? Anyway, so here's the comparison. This one is way lighter, way smaller. So I guess, let's see how loud this one can get versus that one. So I can hear it. quite as loud, but still pretty loud. But I can overblow it. Yeah, it's still pretty loud. comes with a nice wrist strap, which I'll probably use for the first few weeks. Um, once I get comfortable with the way this thing is held, I'll probably do away with it. I don't really like wrist straps. I feel like they get in the way. But it's nice that she put it in there. It's got a little hole here. It just goes right through there. It's nice because there's no little bump on the side that would possibly get in the way. This is really cool. This is absolutely gorgeous. So it's like $45 and it took like $15 shipping, right? <laughs> Messing with the 3D printer. So it came out to $60. Not bad at all. Not bad. And you get the added bonus of supporting a small artist instead of a large corporation. And it looks totally unique and professional. You know? I don't like my ocarinas to look like toys. I want to be taken seriously. And this is definitely serious business. So I'm going to bring this one to the Renaissance Festival this weekend. And I'm going to test it by playing the entire um, two or three sets that I play be about three hours worth of playtime and see if my fingers get locked up. So that's pretty neat. I approve. I would definitely buy this again. And I might even go ahead and buy the soprano version because I like all of my ocarinas to match. So I like to have like, you know, every one of the same set. And I'm probably going to go buy the one that's got all those cool bones on it this one here. Just because. 
I usually don't go for the ones that look kind of like a toy, but god damn, that is so metal. Yeah, Ocarina, Luna, Celta. My one recommendation is that you get your own website uh, with a shopping cart so that uh, people can put their credit card information through more securely and, um, you know, maybe a selection of, of different things and descriptions. But, yeah. This is the shit. <laughs>